Welcome to Zev Technologies. In this video, we will go over the installation of a 556 wedge lock handguard. Before we begin, you should please note these modifications should only be done by a trained professional gunsmith, and they are intended to make your firearm safe and reliable. As always, when dealing with any firearm at all times, maintain the utmost respect and safety of your firearm and follow these guidelines. Each 556 and 308 Zev handguard includes the following components necessary for the installation process. We will be going over this process with the barrel already indexed and seated on the upper receiver. To begin, you'll want to brush the threads of the upper receiver with the anti-seize, just enough to coat the threads lightly. An even application all the way around once should do the trick. Next, you'll take the barrel nut, thread it on the receiver, and seat it snugly and hand tight. Using a torque wrench and an included barrel nut wrench, you'll thread it fully onto the receiver. The max torque spec is 80, but we suggest 50 since we are using anti-seize. Tighten and loosen the barrel nut a total of three times, leaving it tight on the third torque. This preloads the threads on the receiver, and it's an important step. Next is the gas block assembly. There are two screws on the block, so you want to slide it onto the barrel. Seat it in the receiver, rotate the entire unit, and line up one hole with the dimple on the barrel. You'll install the first set screw by first dipping it in blue Loctite. and seat it fully. Follow the same process for the second screw. Making sure to fasten it hand tight. Rotate the entire unit back over and you are ready for the handguard. As mentioned, each handguard comes with an innovative wedge lock system. The wedges fit together and have a pin on the lower half that seats into the hole in the handguard body. Make sure that when you insert the wedge locks that there is some space at the front of the top wedge away from the frame of the handguard. Slide the handguard over the barrel, gas tube system, and barrel nut, making sure to leave a decent space between the body of the receiver and the handguard. Insert the anti-rotation pin into the body of the upper receiver and not the handguard. This is important because each handguard was designed for the pin to be tightly snug, and the receiver accepts the pin a lot more easily. Then use your hands to insert the handguard onto the pin, making certain that the pin lines up with the upper hole. Be careful not to lose that pin, otherwise your handguard may not be as securely fastened as necessary. Next, you'll take a rubber mallet or soft-faced hammer and tap the end of the handguard to ensure it sets tightly on the pin and the receiver. There should be no space left between the two parts. Once it is snug, rotate the assembly to install the set screws. For this, we will use the Allen key provided. It's best to go slow with this process so you don't lose the screws because they are small and can easily roll away.
Again, we will use a very small amount of Loctite for each screw, only to the point of hand tight. It helps to think of the screw holes as indexed like the face of a clock and are drilled into the handguard in such a way that they point towards center of the assembly. One way to help ensure they are fastened correctly is to line up the entire unit so the screw hole points directly up and down. It's best not to force the screws, minimizing cross thread, and ensure they are hand tight only. Again, take your time with this process. Once the handguard screws are installed, you'll tighten the wedge lock assembly. You can use the T20 Torx wrench, which is supplied in the kit. You'll want to tighten them until the wedges are flush or almost flush with each other. There is no need to over tighten. As mentioned, you'll need that slight space between the wedge and the handguard. Otherwise, it will bind up while you are trying to install. As you can see, there's a slight shelf and that's all you need. Once handguard is installed, you are ready to put your muzzle device, sights, and anything else you wish to install on your brand new Zev handguard. And you're all set. If you have any questions about our products, call our customer service number provided in the information section of this video. And for your next upgrades and install processes, keep it here at Zev Technologies.